Okay, everyone, right? Now, what you're about to see in the following video is a group that I went and filmed recently. They're known as the Zaito Kukai. Now, they're an extreme right-wing racist group here in Japan who have been on a crusade of sorts uh, against Korean people. Um, Koreans are a minority in this country, quite a large minority. Now, in this video, what they're going after is a publisher named Bukusha, I believe. They're a manga publisher. And in one of these, uh, one of these mangas they published, they published a story about comfort women, which were Japanese sex slaves in World War II. Uh, countless numbers of Korean people suffered because of this. Now, this group is trying to pressure and harass this business. Stop publishing that. So, I want you to watch this video. There'll be some um, nice little uh, text graphics in there to explain a little bit of what's going on. And there'll be a little bit of me talking in there as well. But now after the video, watch it all the way through. And I'll be at the end uh, to come back here and explain exactly just how, um, for lack of a better word, full of shit these people are. And just how dangerous this type of group can really be. So, watch the video all the way through, then we'll come back to me here, and we'll discuss this, and I'll explain this a bit more. Alright, everyone. I found them. Now, what you're seeing here is a Zaito, Ku Zaito Kukai, a far-right group here in Japan. Uh, they've earned a reputation of being quite racist and quite fascist. Now, the gentleman you hear, that would, of course, be... Makoto Sakurai, who's the chairman and leader of the group, he's down there right now. Now the reason they're out here is because they're quite angry at this publishing company up here named Fukusha, I believe, yeah. Now this publishing company's been um, putting out some mangas and other publications uh, talking about the comfort woman issue. I don't know how much closer I can get to them safely, but I'm going to try. If you guys have been keeping up with me the past two days, I said I was going to come down here due to recent events that have been taken against me. I'm going to show the world exactly how these guys are. Now this Makoto guy, man, he's been doing a lot of research on him, okay? He was recently arrested for something that happened down the Shinoka Bay and involved in some attacks against Koreans. He was arrested for spitting on Korean people. This guy has quite a reputation. Groups like this are known to get quite violent quite quickly. Alright, they're easily agitated. That's the guy I was talking He'll whip him himself up really quick. That's their kind of hate. That's their kind of anger. You see how these groups... Uh, that's our hero. They just can't handle the truth. What happened? Those are blocking the police. 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 Those are blocking the police.
認めることはできません私たちは拉致被害者を奪還しなきゃいけないんです彼ら彼女らそして愛しいお母さんかわいい息子そういった帰ってくる人たちを待っている彼女らたくさんいますこんなものを朝鮮人の強制連合という嘘で総裁されてはたまらないんですコンビニとかにあったんでちょっと持ってこられた方を見てちょっとパラパラ見たんですけれどもこれねただのエロ漫画ですよ文化社さんレディースファンクスはもう20年ぐらい前からそういうものが出回ってますけども女性のね女性向けの先ほどの会長が言われた通り女性向けのエロ漫画ですよ私もね若い頃ちょっとお世話になったことありますけどもまあそれとは関係ないんですけどもこれね中身を見るとあの歴史的なねものも絡めながら、えー、朝鮮戦時中の従軍,従軍やすとかそういう話だけじゃなくてもねだけじゃなくて遊女とか女房とかねそういうちょっと歴史的ちょっとね、えー、お姉様方も歴史的ね興味を煽りながらさらにサドマゾマゾギスティックサドサドスティック的なサドマゾ的なものも絡めて。そういうね、性的なものを絡めているというものですよ。これをね、こういうもの、主に見ましたけど、主に日本のね、ことだけなんですよ。こんなものね、特に十分ヤフ、十分ヤフなんてことはね、ありませんですよ。ありませんよ。こういうものをね、文化者の皆様、えー、作者の方、9年前に書いたものと言いますが、これを今、今、現時点で載せた文化者に対して非常に強い疑問があります。なぜ今この時にこのような話を載せたんですか文化者の皆さん聞こえてますか今ねアメリカではパリ・セイズ・パーク市グエナ・パーク市で慰安婦像の慰安婦像,慰安婦像の建立がどんどん行われてます在米韓国人たちの手によってこの状況でこういうものを出すということの意味がお分かりでしょうか文文化者の皆様日本人の私たちのじいちゃんじいちゃんの名を著しく傷つけさらにはこの私がやってたらどうするんですか名誉者は激しい中身は熱情だけ今度だけはね子供たちが読んでどうするんですかこれの頭に気がつかね10年やってる。いなかったじゃないですか皆さん知ってますよね。十年やるっていうのは売春婦だったんですよ。一年間に一千万以上、五年で五千万以上、六千万以上稼いで帰ってるね売春婦がいっぱいいるんですよ。それをこの皆さんの中身今度見てくださいね。九万から二十万人が朝鮮人女性だったって書いてあるんです。20万人ですよどんだけの幅なんですか1人から10人じゃないんです9人から20万人ってアバウトすぎるでしょ東京でも何個で違うんですかそんだけの嘘をこうやって堂々と垂れ流しそして世界中に発信するこれ日本だけじゃないですからねきっとアメリカ人だって何だって見れるんですよあなたたちねそれでね、これを信じた人たちが、いいですか、この従軍員たちにを支持し、支援している団体、グレンデール市にまで慰安婦像を建てているんですよ、世界中にこのプロ,カプロパガンダ、浸透してきているんです、あなたたち文化者は責任が取れるんですか。アメリカにもう一個、少女の像を建てようとしています。それに拍車をかけたら、あなたたち、後世に責任が持てるんですかこれを信じて、その人たちに賛同する人が出てきて、そして少女像が日本全国どころか、アメリカ、カナダ、ドイツ、いろんなところに立ったら、あなたたち、どうするんですかしよう本当です、自主回収してください、そして謝罪文の掲載、それは私は求めたいと思います。表現の自由だから
許されるなわけないでしょうよ、はいまあ、日本ではございませんけれども例えばドイツだったらですね、えー、我が闘争我が闘争というのはですね、はい、あのアドルフ・ヒトラーが書いたですね本でございますけれどもドイツこれあの出版することができないんですよ言論の自由どこ行ったんですかそうでしょその国の基準においてですねふさわしくないと思われる作品についてはこれ規制されて当たり前なんですそして今回のですねこの漫画についてはですね普通に考えてあまりにも内容がですね偏っているこれは文化者自身が認めたんですそしてチェックミスでしたということも認めて謝罪してるんですであれば当然これは回収すべきなんです、まあ、ただその一方でその一方で私も出版のね、えー、関係、まあ、いろいろと本を書いたりですね、えー、文章も書いてますですから回収が難しいっていうこともよく分かってるんですよ一回市場に流れてしまったものをね回収するっていうのはこれ普通に考えて無理なんですよどうしても物理的にこれちょっと無理なもんですからね一回売れちゃったものはどうしようもないわけですからですからですねじゃあ代替措置として文化者として何ができるかそれをね先ほどちょっと話し合ってきましたでその結果といたしましてですね文化者はですねできる限り早くですね社としてまあ一つにはこの本を読んで不快にさせた方たちがいたということで謝罪をしたいということそしてこれからのですね編集に関して、まあ、社としてどうやっていくのかこの本に関してですね改めてあの総括的なことで、えー、発表するというそのような約束をさせていただきました。Okay, there you go. There's your、um, racist, extreme right wing group, Zaito Kukai, doing their thing down there that day, okay? Now, they've done lots of protests in the past. They've done much larger ones in the past, and some of those protests have become quite aggressive, shoving, pushing, pushing, pushing matches. And as, as I point out there, their dear leader, Makoto Sakurai has been arrested in the past for spitting on Korean people. Absolutely disgusting. And you got to see there an example of them puking out their hate and their racist mantra there. Now, let's get to、um, a couple of points here that they make, okay? Now, the first point that they really get into here is talking about how these women, these Korean women who were sex slaves by the Japanese Imperial Army in World War II, were nothing more than paid whores. That's an inc incredible amount of bullshit, all right? Because now it did happen in very limited cases that there were pimps who would sell the women to the Imperial Army. And the army would pay the pimp, all right? Now, that doesn't mean the women were paid anything. Now, they'll go ahead and lie and say they paid the women directly and it was a private transaction. Bullshit, okay? Just、um, take a look online, you'll find pretty quickly. You can、uh, find graphic, horrible pictures of、um, military men dressed in fendoshi, gang raping women, or preparing to gang rape women. Okay, so that's total bullshit, right? Now, the one point, the second point that we really want to focus on here is where they talk about、um, how you cannot get an accurate number exactly how many women. This was done to. All right, now, in most cases, these women were abducted and forced into it during the occupation of Korea. All right, now I'm not going to get into the details of how they occupied and all that. You're right, wingers. Now, we're not going to have any of you, okay? We're not going to tolerate you, all right? So don't even, all right? So let's get, but we're going to focus right on this point here, right? Now, if you to get the number, Of actually, how many women you have to take it from several different sources.、Uh, you take it from Korean official numbers. You take it from、um, Philippine, Philippines. You take it from Australia. And also take it from Japan. And you get a collective number and you have to look at it a little bit and get the rough estimate of it, right? Now, it's well over 200,000 women,、uh, possibly more, okay? Because these records, remember, this was war, dude, World War II. And not all the,、uh, some of these records are not kept. Extremely accurate, but trust me, you look it up, do your fact finding, it's well over 200,000, possibly more. All right? So, again, they're full of shit on that one. All right? And yeah, you right wingers, I know, 
you're going to come at me if all this crap. You know, I've dealt with you before online. No. No. At this point, no. Okay? Right there. All right? Eat it. All right? I'm not going to have you. Okay? You can make all the damn cases you want. We're just going to laugh at you, heckle you, and keep telling you the truth. Okay? Now, you saw Makoto when he came out from talking to the publisher. He did a bit of grandstanding, made some remarks about World War II and all that. And he goes on to the actual what happened with what they wanted. Now, what they wanted was to have the manga straight up pulled off the shelves. Okay, it's one story from a, one of these big books of manga. He wanted that completely moved off the shelves. And he wanted the publisher to admit, hey, we were putting out propaganda, we were lying, we're sorry. That didn't happen. Okay? What happened was the publisher said, I'm really sorry about that, but uh, we're not pulling it off the shelves. We're still going to sell it. Now, it's typical in Japanese culture when you have someone like that who's really demanding and generally just full of shit that you just sit there and you try to be very um, nice to them. And you say, sorry, sorry, sorry. But it's quite impressive the publisher did say to him, no, we're not pulling it off the shelf. All right? It's cost us way too much money. That's way ridiculous. And it's not a lie. All right? Okay? It's not Korean propaganda happened. So they did not get what they want. They went down there. Basically, this amount to harassment. Again, harassing a business. Okay? That's what you did. Right wing. Right? So, you know, um, by the way, I'll put some links, or well, at least one link there in the description box below this video, to um their leader, Makoto Sakurai, to his Twitter account. Right? And, um, you can contact him and ask him further questions about things, or if you'd like to express your opinion directly to him, you can do so. So the next time, guys, this is me here in Japan, checking out as always.